Hi, I'm Paul Solentrop with the Wichita Eagle and Kansas.com with columnist Bob Lutz. We're here in the Scott Trade Center in St. Louis after a, a big day of Kansas basketball. Kansas and Wichita State winners. Uh, Kansas State a loser to Kentucky. And let's start with Wichita State. They won 64-37. Uh, I think we'll probably dispense pretty quickly with Cal Poly and get right to Kentucky. But what did you think? Wichita State looked reasonably sharp after, uh, what, a 12-day layoff. Yeah, you know, you, they handled a 16 seed the way you're supposed to handle a 16 seed and a team that's now lost 20 games. Wichita State, it was kind of a dress rehearsal is, is how I viewed it. And now uh, they better be ready Sunday because, as we saw, Kentucky's just a team with so much size. Uh, Wichita State hasn't seen it. I don't know who sees anything like Kentucky, but their size is going to be an issue. Yeah, I'm trying to think if Ohio State, even last year, which was probably the most physically imposing team Wichita State had played, but I don't think they were as big as as busy, big as Kentucky is. Uh, Clay Anthony Early played really well tonight. He is probably the one shocker who you know is most capable of physically matching up with with Kentucky's guys. Uh, how key a figure is he going to be on Sunday? I think he's going to have a field day. I think he's going to enjoy playing against a, a group of athletes like Kentucky rolls out there, and I think it'll be a very good game for Clay Anthony Early. I think he's a real key to that. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he how he handles that. He will have an edge in experience and maturity. You know, he's older than a lot of those freshmen. Uh, you know, does he look at it as here's a ch- big chance to improve his NBA stock? Uh, how does that affect his game? I think those will all be all be interesting things. You know, as big as Kentucky is, as well as they play tonight, they only scored 56 points. Yeah, did not they... score. Did not shoot a ball particularly well. If WSU can keep them in that range, then uh, you know that's a, that's a basketball game they can win. I thought K State really dictated the pace. I think if you told Bruce Weber this would be a game in the 50s, that some the, the winning team would be in the 50s, he would have taken that and and enjoy, and liked his chances. But the problem with K State, they're just so challenged offensively. They just get to into games where they can't make shots. And tonight was one of those nights for them. Kentucky will also have a size advantage in the backcourt. I think a lot of people will be watching Fred Van Fleet. Who does he match up with? How does he handle that? What's your view on how that's going to play out? Well, when you have twins, the Harrison twins, and they're 6'6", and both around 215 to 220 pounds, you know, it's just how is Wichita State going to handle this size? That's going to be the major issue. Now, I think Wichita State has some things that Kentucky wishes it did, experience. Wichita State, I think, plays more consistently well. But Kentucky's one of those teams, we've talked about it uh, before the tournament. They, it wouldn't surprise anyone if they get on a roll in this tournament and get to the Final Four. Yeah, they certainly have a, have a lot of talent. Uh, I talked to an assistant coach in the SEC who said Wichita State reminds him of Florida, and he likes that matchup from that standpoint, that you know, Wichita State, like Florida, is the kind of team, doesn't make mistakes, is going to play hard and physical and uh, you know, so if you're a Wichita State fan, that's that's something to something to hang on to. Uh, you also covered the University of Kansas today. They handled uh, Eastern Kentucky after some problems early. What were your impressions of the Jayhawks? Well, I think KU was in real danger there. Eastern Kentucky was making a lot of threes. That's kind of their game. But eventually, the size of Kansas was overwhelming. I thought Jamar Trader was was really really good today. That's a guy that I think next year and the year after has a chance to be All-American type of a player. And, and my guy, you know I had to mention him, Connor Frankamp, with easily his best game as a Jayhawk today. Really really came in and settled that team down in the first half when they were just all over the place, completely out of control. If you're a Wichita State fan, are you wondering how a second seed in Kansas ends up with Stanford and you end up with Kentucky? Or have we passed the statute of limitations of, of wondering about the seeding? It's it's something that'll come up, you know. But Kentucky has only itself to blame for its seeding. It didn't have a very good year in the in the SEC by Kentucky standards. I mean, ten losses. Uh, and and I, it's interesting that John Calipari is talking about how well Kentucky's playing right now. They're only four and four in their last eight games, even with tonight's win. So I think there's some motivation, some psychology at work with Kentucky. I think uh, they have it. I think Kentucky could uh, could win this tournament, and I think Wichita State could beat them by 10 on Sunday. All right, we're going to wrap it up from the Scott Trade Center, uh, where Wichita State won, Kansas won. Kansas State ends its season with a loss to Kentucky, and we will be back on Sunday with, uh, I think it's maybe to this point, the biggest, most anticipated matchup in college basketball this year. A lot of eyes will be on Wichita State and Kentucky on Sunday.